So here's something interesting. GoPro have just released one of their best products ever. And guess what? It's not even a camera. It's this. So GoPro have just released their best product ever, and it's not even a camera. It's this. And this right here is the GoPro USB pass-through door. Oh, here's the box it comes in. So, what exactly is this? Well, as the box might give it away, this is actually a way for you to actually run a USB cable in through this little slot here and actually power your camera. Now, this fellow retails for about $19.99 and you know if you have a gopro plus subscription of course you're going to get a discount on that but uh as a gopro unless you buy 50 dollars worth of stuff you're still going to have to pay 15 dollars shipping so i mean you know you might want to purchase a few other products and not just purchase this but i want to talk more in depth about uh, how it compares to other usb doors so this here is the ulanzi usb pass-through door for the gopro hero 8 and as you can see, we have the nine here, we have the eight here. Now, there is a couple of differences between these two and I'm gonna to get to that in a second. The first big difference is actually gonna be the price. This from Alanzi costs $19.95, whereas this from GoPro costs $19.99. Now, it's gonna be a while before you can get this on other retail sites, so if you buy this from GoPro, you probably are gonna to have to pay the shipping price unless you order $50 worth of product. However, if you have a GoPro Plus subscription, you're going to get a discount on this one. So, two similarly priced items. How do they stack up against each other? Well, let's take a look. This is the GoPro Hero 8. And I'm just going to pop this battery door off and attach the Ulanzi. Now, the first thing I notice is that it's kind of actually tricky to get the Ulanzi on. I mean, the hinge, it just doesn't feel that solid. And then when you're popping it on and off, it is just a bit fiddly. However, it works quite well. And as you can see, you can pass the cable through there to power your camera and you're mostly protecting it from all the dust that may enter. But it actually still does leave the USB port, you know, kind of exposed and water can actually drip in there. Now with the Alanzi door, there's also a little bit of foam here to actually kind of give a small bit of weather protection against you know, water entering the battery, but it only goes up as about as far as here. And therefore, I wouldn't really recommend this if you wanted to do an extended time lapse in the shot and leave your camera out overnight. There's also the other thing that if you actually plug a USB cable in here, the USB cable is going to be hanging down here and that puts a lot of pressure on your USB port. And I've already read numerous reports from people saying that the actual port on their camera is not working. And dollars to donuts, they were actually having a USB cable plugged into it and it was pulling on it. And the weight of the cable has been causing this to actually, you know, break. And that's true whether you're actually doing a night lapse or whether you're actually using your GoPro as a web camera. So let's see about the actual GoPro door. I did like the new design of the actual door on the GoPro itself. Just pop that off. I mean, it's actually fairly easy and fairly good to use. Now, thing is, with this new door, it actually has that GoPro feel of quality. It goes on quite nice. It snaps shut with a satisfying snap there, and you can actually, you know, open it the same way, just by pulling it down, and it's quite easy to use. But the one advantage this definitely does have over the Ulanzi is this little bit right here. Now, I don't know how well you can see this, but what that actually does, and I'll show you this fantastic thing now, so what this little bit here does is that once you plug in your USB cable, like so, it's in there nice and firm. Now that's still gonna be hanging down there, but you can loop this back over and actually put the cable in here. Now it's a little bit snug, but that's good because it holds this cable tight, which takes the pressure off your USB power port here, which means that there's gonna be no breaking here. You're just gonna keep this nice and straight. There's gonna be no strain in the cable and therefore you're not gonna have a broken USB port on your camera, and that's fantastic. But this also has another advantage over the Ulanzi, 
And that is the fact that this is actually weather resistant. And allow me to show you how. I'll pop this back out. Pop the cable back out. Pop the door off. As I pointed out earlier, here's what the Ulanzi door looks like. It's got a big hole in it. You could actually see all around there in the USB cable when it fits in, which means when you plug in your USB cable for power, the whole thing is kind of like fitting through there and you can actually see the size of the gap that's left. And that gap is all where water can enter your camera. So it's good if you want to like power your camera as a webcam and you just don't want it open to the elements, but for doing night lapses or where there might be a damp environment or dust or sand, that's not going to do a lot to keep that out of the camera. The GoPro door, on the other hand, actually has this very, very small opening and it's made of rubber. So this means when you actually go to plug in your, your cable, as you can see, the only thing that's fitting through there is the actual power connector on the cable itself. And that is a fantastic thing because this means it's weather resistant. Now, that's a very important word, weather resistant. Weather resistant does not mean it's waterproof. It just means that if it does rain, you know, water is not going to be able to get in here. Whereas, you know, if you bring it to the ocean or something, yeah, sure, water could get in. But the thing is, when you're actually doing extended night lap shots or just wanting to power your camera and the outside of, let's say, your motorbike even, this is the door you want, not this door. So, what's the other advantage of actually buying this door for your GoPro Hero 9? Well, GoPro actually supplies this rather nice long USB cable. And that's absolutely fantastic. I mean, you can see how long it is there. It's a lot of cable and that's actually included for that $19.99 price. Whereas your Nielanzi door for $19.95, well, that's all it is. So with this, you have the option of using it outdoors and you also have the option of having a really nice long cable for your webcam that's gonna be able to work with your GoPro because it's an approved GoPro cable. So honestly, the Alanzi, it was a great little thing when it came out, you know, because you didn't really have an option, but you weren't going to be able to use it in the rain and using it for nighttime time lapses, especially with condensation and, you know, moisture in the air. Not that great an idea. But this door from GoPro, absolute game changer. This is absolutely fantastic. I mean, this is actually one of their best designed products I've seen in ages, and I'm actually really, really happy with this. So, you know, thank you, GoPro. You've actually made something that's absolutely fantastic and worthwhile. You know, full dues, full credit where it's you. That is absolutely fantastic. So if you don't have one of these doors, I recommend you go and get one. I'm going to put a link to this door down below. And, you know, I just recommend that if you're actually someone who actually wants to use their camera with an external power supply, whether it's outdoors, on your car, on your motorbike, this is the door you should get. It's just fantastic.